Well, we hope you enjoyed our Irish Sea adventures. But now it's a case of, now that we're back in Liverpool, what's coming up next? Yeah, well, um, for next season, now that we're back here and the sailing isn't going to be brilliant over the winter, we're going to do a lot of work, upgrade work, things we find out on our Irish Sea adventures, things that the boat needs to do to convert her from what is really a weekend or a day sailor into a full-time cruising boat. Um, and so the things we've got to do are things like the solar panels that we have aren't, aren't sufficiently good. We need to upgrade them. Um, stop laughing. <laughs> The uh, 14 inches across, Beth, what do you expect? Because they're not good enough. Okay, start again. The solar panels we need to do aren't good enough and need upgrading. Um, this area here needs a, a canvas enclosure over it to protect us from weather when we're at sea. Um, we need some sort of arch here that we can put solar panels on. Um, this needs upgrading to have a full autopilot, which it currently doesn't. Our chop plotter needs upgrading. Some of our lines are a bit... They yeah. need, they need, they need too. Um, so that will get done. So we've got some splicing work to do, uh, things like that. The biggies are the boat needs hauled out, the anodes need checking and replacing, the toilet needs um, new piping, the standing rigging needs the whole mast ticking off and replacing, so that's going to be a bit of a job. Um, the cooker needs replacing because it's basically worn out. Um, and if we're lucky, the boat won't sink and slip. <laughs> upgrades uh, coming up but um, we've also got like a, a I would cl class it as an eclectic mix of uh, marina life um, you know just because we're down at the marina there's a lot of things going on certainly either here or down at Albert Dock um, and we just got involved in that uh, Bev and I are um, officers for Liverpool Yacht Club for another six weeks I know but <laughs> at some of those so like in September we got involved in the Southport 24 hours 24 hour I said near show but it was the race um, you know and we've got involved in other uh, club activities so plus there's, um, thing, plus there's things going on in Liverpool like they had the Giants Spectacular which we have attended and we'll do something on that it's not something you see every day trust me on this yeah so there's like some eclectic mix of other things that's happening in Liverpool um and just sort of like um the social side of it there's just so much to do we've also had requests for some more cooking stuff for cooking stuff on a boat and um so we're going to do things like that we're going to acquire a mr d's thermal cooker uh, and we'll deal with that when we do the cooker upgrade we're going to do a lot of one pot recipes which are convenient for boat food and um we just see how it all goes we hope we'll have enough content to carry on on a weekly schedule but if not we'll probably shift your two weekly schedule but we'll notify you of that before we do it so if we shift your two week schedule it's because we don't want to bore you with basically dull jobs um because we know yeah, we, all, like, you, we know you all love to see a sail and go places and we're, we're sitting in a marina tied up to a dock yeah like for instance but also some of the jobs have taken a lot longer like um we got the eberspacker um work we did on the Eberspacker that took at least two weeks to get it all sorted so obviously that's just going to be one episode yeah by the time you get the supplies laid in you get insulation you get the thing service all this sort of thing it just takes forever yeah so, so it does take it so some of the for a 10 minute episode it just takes ages to get everything ready for it so it does doesn't it yeah no that's why um it's going to just take longer mm -hmm. um well we also, yeah, go on. We also want to sort of like be quite happy that we've met our very first target. Our very first target was just to get 100 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> but it does mean that we now have a unique URL for um, the channel, which strangely enough is Sailing yep. Yacht Salty Lass. So um, that was our first um, target. Um, and to uh, commemorate that, we got our jacket. We've got our nice bright red Liverpudlian jacket. It even has a liver bird on it, so it's it's quite good. It's big, it's fleecy, and it's great to wear at sea under your filies because it keeps all the wind off and you stay lovely and warm. It's very, very nice. So what we've decided to do is we've picked out all the subscribers who have identified themselves. Not everybody who subscribes... <coughs> sorry. Not everybody who subscribes uh, has their name up where we can see it, so... You know, of that 100 and 
or plus subscribers. We don't know who everybody is, but the ones we do know, we have put into this wonderful prize draw selection device. Hey! Not as my non-stick cooking pot. <laughs> and we are now going to draw the winner of this jacket out. Do a good job. Oh, it's this one, whoever this one is. It begins with N. I've no idea who this is. It's Niall O'Connell. So Niall, you need to contact us, tell us your address, and this wonderful, beautiful, gorgeously expensive. It was free, let's get real. Fleece will be yours. <laughs> <laughs> Take you nowhere. The, uh, the Mayor of London gave me that. So. No he didn't, the Mayor of Liverpool gave you that. Sorry, the Mayor of Liverpool gave me that, but regardless. Yeah. <laughs> So our next target is, I think it was our third venture out. We got rescued from the, by the RNLI. Yep, and then in High Dublin we got rescued by the RNLI again. And one so of, um, one, of, one, of, one of the sailors right here in the marina, and I promised Tom I wouldn't mention his name, um, said really, you know, <laughs> have we taken out shares in the RNLI? <laughs> I think we should do. <laughs> Well, we are trying to raise uh, through the damsels in distress page uh, 500 pounds of which i think we've got 25 quid not much not an awful lot so our target was 500 pounds yeah so if you do like the videos um then you know just give the money to the rnli and we'll be very happy with that oh look the side somebody not mentioning any names. names. <laughs> Somebody was doing some work helping out in a local shop and um, a chappy came in. From uh, the RNLI. With an RNLI jacket on and she said, oh, are you in the RNLI? And he said, yes, I am. And she's, she blabbled on about yachts and things like that. And he said, oh, Got you... Got a quick interview with him. Yeah, he said, oh, you're, da you're down in the yacht club then. Um, do you happen to know who owns a book called <laughs> Salty, Salty Lass? Lass? Oh God! And she said, yeah, it's mine, why? And he says, well, we sit in the uh, RNLI house in New Brighton and every time you go past we can hear you shouting at Mercy VTS. So our notoriety has spread yet again. I know, I know, so... But never mind. So uh, if you're watching this in RNLI New Brighton, thank you guys. <laughs> we'll come up and see you, I promise. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that really wraps this up for now we need to get on and do things i think today we have to move the boat around so um well we were talking about it yeah yeah we'll get it done yeah uh we've got things to do um although it's a monday we've got a sunday roast, roast to cook don't ask and um you know it's just our upside down crazy back to front life that's the way we do it yeah absolutely so as they say on various other channels See you. <laughs> <laughs>